Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. Last time that I posted a vlog, it was maybe just a couple days after Christmas. I don't want to stay on here talking too much because I would love to kind of take you through my day today. I think I'm kind of getting an idea of what I want to do with this vlog and it's pretty much going to be a Dawson Days Off vlog. I don't know how that sounds, if it sounds too cheesy. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments section. I think that's kind of what I'm going for here. My days off are definitely the only days that I'm going to be able to do any vlogging, so it kind of makes sense. Super excited about the channel, super excited to be back. Um, we had an amazing new year, and I am ready to hit the ground running with work, with personal life, with trips coming up, everything like that. Um, say hi, Kramer. Little Kramer is here to, to say hey as well. Anyways, I had the day off today, but I did have to go into work this morning to, to handle something for a client. But back to relaxing. I got a haircut this morning, so excuse the disheveled hair. I haven't taken a shower. I'm gonna rinse off and probably go to the pool. I already put on what I'm gonna wear to the pool today. It's just this linen Onia top and swim trunks that I got from Urban Outfitters, I think. They were on super sale and honestly living in Miami I have more swim trunks and like swim briefs than I've ever had in my entire life because you need them all the time so these were on sale I just picked them up a couple months ago um, when Sydney was in town actually for the Lil Nas concert it's not I don't know why I'm saying all this information about these urban outfitter shorts but whatever so that's what I'm wearing I love this brand though Onia um, they do a bunch of swimwear and kind of resort wear, great, great quality. Um, we have a couple pieces from them, some linen tees, I think like a terry cloth set as well. And this is like a linen, it's super light, almost see-through, white linen sweater top. And honestly, it's, it's nice quality and the price point's a little, a little bit higher uh, for kind of casual everyday clothing, but... I accidentally threw it in the washer with some of our concert tees um, a little while ago. So the color is not as vibrant and honestly we never reach for it for going out anymore. So I figured I might as well put it to use for wearing around the house into the pool. So that's what I have on today. I want to get down to the pool because it is an absolutely gorgeous day. I'll show you the view here. But it's beautiful. The sun is shining um, and we are in beautiful Miami. It's a pretty gorgeous day. So I want to get out there. Oh my God, the dogs are so cute. Hi boys. I want to get out there. I want to enjoy the sun. Um, I think this afternoon I'll probably clean the house a bit, um, do some work on the vlog, get everything settled there. I want to update my resume today as well and then maybe plan this next week. I just got an amazing offer to, to go visit a friend um, back in South Carolina. So we're gonna see if I can finagle that with my work schedule. But regardless, let's get the day started and let's get these puppies in the room so I can run down to the pool and they can maybe sleep, take an afternoon nap. It's that time of day where they start getting super tired, so. Oh, something that I forgot to mention um, that I am pretty excited about. I did order new batteries, new memory cards. I'm thinking about getting maybe another tripod for my camera as well for vlogging. So all the little things are coming together. I don't know if I need like a ring light or anything like that. I'm not sure that I'll use it that much unless I'm sitting maybe at the computer. Um, but yeah, getting some things for the vlogging channel. Got a new... Um, planner for the year, which is exciting. I'm going to mention that on my other video, I'm not sure. So finally, finally getting everything in line and, and ready to, to jump into the new year super strong. I do have a couple things that I, I want to buy probably this month if I can swing it. I, I've been wanting a juicer for a long time and there is a new version, it's a 2022 version, uh, Breville Juice Fountain Cold Plus, I think is the name. It's, it's those words, but and maybe not that combination. I want to get that because I'm constantly drinking water. Uh, it's basically the only beverage that I drink. I don't really do like juices from 
cans or, or bottles or energy drinks. I drink coffee and water and that's just about it. I don't really like soda. Um, every now and then I'll get like an unsweet tea um, just because I like the taste of it. But I, I do like juices and I've had um, celery juice and I've had like ginger shots and things like that in the past and honestly like I'm, I'm all about it. It sounds great and I'm always like finding myself wasting groceries and vegetables, like fresh groceries and vegetables. Um, we've gotten better about using up the like arugula and romaine that we end up buying, but I never really buy fruit because it sits on the counter. I, I'm not that interested in like biting into an apple, but I do love the taste of those things. Um, I know it can be sugary, so I'm, I definitely want to explore the idea of doing more like celery juices and ginger juices and finding out what kind of combinations of juices could be good for my health. Um, we work ourselves to the bone in this industry as so many people do in, in their jobs as well. And I think it's just something that I, I would wanna get that can help me focus on you know my mental, my gut, my body health and um, in a couple different ways. So I wanna see if I can swing that this month. Also, I like have to get a new vacuum. I don't know if it's gonna be a Dyson like cordless or if it's going to be a, hey, what are you doing? Oh, he wants these strings. My shorts have strings, he loves these strings. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be a Dyson. I don't know if it's gonna be like a shark or if it's gonna be a Roomba. Garrett's pretty worried that the dogs would absolutely lose their minds. Um, if a Roomba was driving around the house, but I really think they might just have to get used to it because I Look, I'll clean up the house all day long. I'll do the laundry. I'll do the dishes, but I hate vacuuming I hate it because I hate our vacuum um, It's just kind of clunky and it's a mess and it doesn't feel clean So it's it's very uninspiring to pick up this vacuum and want to use it. So I'm trying to talk Garrett into that. I think those are two things that could be a great, you know, addition to the house for the start of a new year. So we'll see. I do think a, a Roomba could be great. Honestly, like when we come home from work, it's like 8.30 at night and I don't want to have to to do anything else. So if I can sit here and maybe the dogs are a little crazy about it. Hey, don't bark. Where are you barking at? Shh, 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 shh. We have very thin walls here in this apartment, so I don't want. Look, he's absolutely fighting me. We have very thin walls, so I don't want the neighbors to hear. Anyway, so, like I was saying, I think it'd be great to just come home and press a button and the house gets vacuumed up itself. Also, we have this like really um, beautiful, but um, kind of hairy in the way that it sheds Berber rug. We got an amazing deal on this. We got it from CB2, I believe. CB2, no, um, Pottery Barn, one of those. Anyways, it's it's a gorgeous rug. We absolutely love it, but it does like shed um, because the dogs are always running around and, and kind of ripping up the fibers a little bit. So the, the fuzz and the little tufts of hair are everywhere and it's it's incredibly frustrating. So we're, we're gonna see, hi. We're gonna see if I can talk Kara into getting a Roomba. That would be probably, that would be my first choice. I, it doesn't have to be a Roomba brand. I know there's an, a lot of them out there that are, are great quality and not the price of the, the new like iRobot Roombas or whatever. So um, I think there's a brand, Uffy, E-U-F-Y, that looks pretty good and promising and I've heard I've heard good reviews on it as well. So I don't know, That's that could be in the works. I do think it having a, a you know, a clean, um, clean home with the right tools to keep your life clean and organized is very important. So I'm going to I'm gonna see what we can do. Without further ado, I, I'm going to get to the pool. I, I want to go outside. So it's, it's beautiful. It's breezy. Now is definitely the time to go. So let's head to the pool. Just caught the little monsters. Got to go bring them. Put them in the bathroom with the gate closed. They're so sad. But I'm only going to be gone for maybe an hour or so down at the pool. Say bye, boys. See you later, guys. All right, let's go to the pool.
guys, I'm back. Um, I had a lovely time at the pool. It was super sunny out, really breezy, but not cold, which was great. There were a few other people down there. I met another one of my neighbors, which was nice. Yeah, it was, it was super great. Something that was a little unexpected though was the pool was actually pretty warm. So typically over the past month, the, the pool has been like pretty chilly when I get in it. Um, like almost like body numbing kind of chilly cold, uh, which hasn't been a bad thing because it's always been super hot. And then today actually um, it was very warm and we've, we've had some like 65 degree mornings and like 70 degree days. So it, it definitely was unexpected. I think they've, they've put in a heater in the pool. Hi, hi buddy. Hey buddy, hey buddy, that's so sweet. I think they put um, a heater in the pool or maybe the heater was there all along and the pumps just weren't on. It definitely was warm today. Our last building had um, a heated pool and we absolutely loved it because like, believe it or not, the water, the water just gets cold even though it's so hot outside um, during the winter. So that was, that was nice, it was unexpected. It definitely makes the pool more usable. Um, very grateful for that and yeah. So I, I got a couple clips of the, the common space um, downstairs and also like the lobby, the area we walk through to get to our, our unit here in the apartment. So the atrium, I guess, super beautiful. They have these water features and all these plants throughout and this like really nice like wood deck throughout the entirety of the, the first floor atrium area. So. I got some clips of that. I hope to do like a full apartment tour, hopefully soon. That would definitely require cleaning the house like fully, fully. And right now I'd say it's pretty clean, but it's not spotless. And before I'm putting this place up on the internet, I'm gonna make sure it's perfect. Also, the Christmas tree is still up, as you can see. I definitely need to take that down. It's just quite a project. Flocked trees, let me tell you, while they are beautiful, they make a freaking mess. So I'm gonna wait for Garrett to get home to do that probably one day this week. There are some projects that I want to work on in the house as well. So I know I mentioned earlier some things I wanna buy. Another thing we wanna do, we wanna hang some, some pictures. And then I mentioned this in the last video over here. We're still looking at a wardrobe or you know a cabinet storage situation. So we'll see what we can do about that. I just had a peanut butter sandwich. I don't know if there's anything that you can do in your daily life that makes you feel like more of a kid, but having a peanut butter sandwich is one of them because it was delicious. The bread was cold, which I love, unpopular opinion, and the peanut butter was sweet and delicious and I put a ton on there and it was so good. So I absolutely loved that. I think for the rest of this video, I wanna go through the closet. There are definitely some pieces that I can get rid of. We just got some more hangers um, to make room for things that we had folded that maybe we wanna have hung up. So I'm gonna go through there. I know there are some pieces that I wanna, I wanna donate or, or give away to friends um, that I really just don't wear anymore. There, there's like, there's just so much in our closets. We're very fortunate to have two big closets and we have one that is primarily like cozy everyday clothes. It has our sweaters and shorts and just t-shirts and socks and underwear and all that stuff. And then we have the second closet, the bigger closet for like all of our pants, all of our nice sweaters, all of our collared shirts, jackets, coats, our like fancy shoes. So everything is in that closet. That one, I think maybe there's one or two pieces that I can, I can part ways with from that closet, but the cozy closet, the closet where I keep all my t-shirts, I definitely have some pieces in there that are, you know, they've seen better days and maybe they are just ready to, to see a different <laughs> landscape altogether, whether that is a donation bag or someone's house who could probably use it more than I do. I saw something the other day where someone was talking about like if you have clothes in your closet and you haven't worn them in a year or two, you're never gonna wear them again. 
You just won't. If you haven't reached for that piece, you're never gonna wear it again. You should part ways with it, save yourself the space, give it to somebody else who can use it. So I definitely wanna do that. I, I can already think of a few things that are in there right now that I just, I need to say goodbye to. So I'm gonna go through the closet. I don't know how the filming is gonna be in there because it's a little dark, the bedroom's bright, there's no additional lighting, and I think the kind of the, the viewpoint is a little weird. So bear with me, but I wanted to show you because we also did just clean out the closet in kind of like an organizing way and figured out how we wanna store things. It's been such a big mission for us in this new space. We actually had more storage space in our last apartment, even though this apartment is bigger and nicer. So we're, we're still figuring out what we have to do, the compromises we have to make in order to make everything fit and fit beautifully. So just last week, Garrett and I organized basically everything. Um, and I told him that I would go through the stuff that I just told you about. So I, I need to do that for sure. So let's get to it. All right, so this is the cozy closet, uh, which is like such a cheesy name, but that's that's essentially what it is. And like I told you, it's a lot of t-shirts and I would say like 90% of this stuff is probably mine. Um, I, I have a hard time parting ways with clothing. Um, and yeah, we have the we have the room. There are hangers that are, are not used, but I definitely wanna see what I can do to kind of limit the, the clutter in here. So we have a section here, which is, is primarily like not gonna be touched because these are, these are things that we pull every day. Basically, when we go to work in the morning, we put on something that keeps us cool until we have to get into work and change into our uniform. And that is that is usually just like black shorts and like a black t-shirt or a band t-shirt or, or a concert tee, whatever. And it comes from this section here. So we're always reaching here, which is why it's front and center. This is more of like lounging at the house. Like you wanna just throw on a pair of pants and leave. Like this isn't, these aren't like nice clothes over here per se. They're just things that we have and different options that we can kind of reach for. Down here are all the sweatshirts and like hoodies and things like that. I don't think there are any hoodies in here right now, but there typically are. And then this, this, these are like some of the sets that we have. So these are like lounge sets that we have. Um, there are some like tanks that we have for outfits and then all these hangers, which we just got um, because when all the clothes are washed, we need a lot of these. So that's what's happening here. Um, and then on this side, we have like sweat shorts and like cotton shorts. And this is more like lounging shorts, <laughs> more shorts in general. There's some sweatpants in there for sure. And then this is like socks and underwear. Oh, there's some fuzz. I think it's probably from my, my new sweatsuit I just got. Um, this is like socks and underwear and swimsuits and more athletic shorts here. So. I'm gonna go through this. Oh, I, I skipped over this. This is like an exciting little thing for me because I convinced Garrett to put this in here. We had basically all this fragrance and jewelry on the bathroom counter and it was driving me nuts. And because we have more hanging storage, we had room to move this in here, which I love. So I have quite the, we, I guess we have quite the extensive fragrance collection. A lot of these are Celine because I get them from work. And then um, I have some Tom Brown fragrances when I work there. Um, maybe I do a video on our, on our fragrance collection and some of our favorites and things that I want to buy because there are definitely some on my list that I want to get that I don't have now. And then a little jewelry box and some watches and things back there. This is just overflow. Um, this is like records that I had from my record machine. Some, some of these are my mom's records actually. And then these are books that we don't really have space for, magazines that we don't have space for out in the front of the house. So they're in here for now until we can figure something out. So yeah, okay. Let me see if I can prop this camera up in a way to where you can see me and I can tell you about the pieces I'm gonna get rid of. All right, not the best lighting, but that's okay. Um, it's kind of a, a tricky situation in here. Don't pay attention to the bed that's not made behind me. Just imagine you don't see that. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump in and see, honestly, like what I should get rid of, what I should donate. If you can't see my face, I'm so sorry. But 
Okay. My hair was really messy, so I put on a hat. Like, it doesn't really matter. Who cares? Okay, so to start, like I said, I'm going to avoid maybe that first section of tees. Don't really need to pull anything from there. But like, for instance, this. This is a t-shirt that I thought belonged to Sydney and or her mom, and it doesn't. And it just like ended up in the closet one day. So I have no clue whose this is. If you're watching this and it's yours and you want it back, let me know soon because I've decided I'm getting rid of that. I'm donating it. I don't want to see it in here anymore. Let's see what else is here. I'm very sentimental about a lot of this stuff. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of mess emotionally with clothing. I don't know. Things from friends and family, a lot of stuff from my brother in here that I just don't want to part ways with and probably never will, um, which is fine. But yeah, so it makes doing this much harder for me, for sure. Okay, this t-shirt here, I absolutely love it so much, but I've worn it to Pride twice in New York and it's, it's just grungy. And I hate that I'm gonna be donating this or getting rid of it because it's the like Raph Simmons, Calvin Klein situation, the like 259 West whatever street um, brand. And it was super cute and I got it on sale, but I, I just never wear it. And it doesn't fit me and it's like dirty and nasty. So I'm never gonna wear it again. So this is another piece that I've had for years and it's a little sentimental. Um, I actually got this from one of my old jobs um, used to sell this brand, Engineer Garments. So it's kind of hard to part ways with because it's, it's definitely a pricey piece, but I just don't wear it. And if there's one thing that I remember, it's that I have a dear, dear friend who's probably watching this back in like middle school tell me, Dustin, never wear red, never wear red. It makes your rosacea pop out and you have really red, rosy cheeks. So I always think about that anytime I have anything red, anytime I wear anything red. And honestly, it's not even about that. I just, I don't think it's the most flattering thing. It makes me feel like a kid when I put it on. It's super cute though. So if you're watching this and you want it, let me know because maybe I can send it to you. Um, and it's really nice. It has this kind of like very large, welted situation pocket. And it, it has a really long drape to it. It's really cute, but... Um, I can't, I can't wear it. I, I, and I haven't worn it in years. So I'm not going to fight myself on this. I'm just going to get rid of it. This is one too. I definitely need to, to get rid of. There's a store in South Carolina and actually they might have more stores, but the company that does, this sounds very strange. The company that does the Chick-fil-A uniforms across the, like the country, maybe the globe. I don't know what the deal is. I didn't read the contract. Um, has this other brand called Ubi, O-O-B-E. And they have a flagship store in Charleston, South Carolina. And I got this there. And while it's nice, it's like a little a Terry sweatshirt, short sleeve with like little Dorito triangle on the crew neck. I never wear it. I feel like it, it doesn't fit me properly. Also, there's something about this like extra, like little, oh God, what is the word? I don't know. I don't like it, so I'm getting rid of it. And I, I just, I don't know why it's still in here. I've had it for forever, so I just need to get rid of it. And that's that. I'm a little embarrassed showing you this because like, why do I have this? I have never worked out a day in my life and it shows. But a dear friend of mine from high school gave me this NYU shirt when she went to, to tour the school. And there was no chance I was going to NYU. I couldn't afford the out-of-state tuition. But I, I've had this shirt for years, and I've always been sentimental about it. And it's like, you know what? It was very sweet. I wore it for a long time, but it's just time to let it go. I, I mean, look, I've even tried to I tried to compromise and make this like a workout thing, and it's just not going to work. So we're not we're not compromising for clothing anymore. The clothing should fit, and it should make us feel good. And we should love what we're wearing. We're wearing it. Oh, this, is, this isn't this is going anywhere, but I want to show you because we're in the closet. Look at this incredible Beyonce tee. This is for her renaissance. 
tour that's coming. Um, this is actually just, I guess, like an album tee. So I have that one, and then we got this one as well. Obsessed. So cute. So fun. Love that. Um, yeah. Well, honestly, I'm looking through this now, and I'm not sure that there's much more that I, I want to, to part ways with right now, but I did get a nice little stack. A few, a few things that will definitely make Garrett happy and make me happy as well now that I'm parting ways with... Oh, you know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. This one's gotta go too. If you've followed me on Instagram, if you've been my friend for years, you know that I love this. It really does something for my eyes, but it's just... I'm never gonna be wanting to wear this. I haven't worn it in a long time, so it's time to go. This is another one of those Calvin Klein uh, Raph Simmons pieces, so... Ciao bacalao, see you later. And that's about it, yeah. So, very happy with that, and let's see if I can find anything in the other closet as well. Okay, so this closet is just like three steps away from the other closet. It has our sweaters in here. This is a light that I was talking about that I want to work on. Oh my gosh. Hey, what are you doing? Oh my goodness. Hey, buddy. Ouch, we're working on the teething thing right now. Also, don't, don't mind that. We can't get it off the floor. But he, Kramer, loves this part of the closet. He goes in here and he plays with the little tassels. He's obsessed with it. So, we have our pants in here too. This is what I was telling you about the jackets. These are like coats that we have kind of stored away. Most of them are in like garment bags here. And then these are our like collared shirts. That whole situation, I have some work uniforms mixed in. These are our pants um, that we don't hang with our jeans because we want those pleats and creases. Um, so that's that. Okay, let me see. This is definitely where the bulk of what I what I want to get rid of would be. Um, let's see if I can pull anything that just maybe doesn't make me happy anymore. Let's see. I'm not going to set the camera down in here because the lighting is so bad. It's just going to completely like blow out the lighting on my face. So let's take a look. I have so many pieces that I've just, I've held on to, and the t-shirts are definitely worse than this, but I'm gonna be honest, like this here, this has no business being in my closet. I think this was literally like an H&M shirt I got for zero bucks, and it's tight. It's like, why am I wearing these tight shirts? This here, I am throwing this away too because this is a Tom Brown shirt, and while it is nice, you can tell when you work in these clothes, and this is disgusting, I can't believe I'm putting this on the internet, but you sweat in these clothes, you know? You work in them, you sweat in them, you gotta get rid of it. This, too, I haven't worn in years. Thank you to that anonymous friend for that red comment. Again, red stripes, I don't know what I'm thinking. Oh, God, let's see. That I should definitely part ways with, but I won't do it today. Those as well. Garrett got me this. It's a cute little summer tee or collared shirt situation. And then the rest is actually going to stay. I recently did a clean out of my jeans, so I don't really need to go through there. Um, I did just get these two new pairs and a pair of Levi's, which are in here somewhere. Maybe this is them. But I got these hooks. Fun fact, when I worked at Gap, they like stopped using them and I got to keep them. They are so convenient. This is how they would display jeans at Gap back in the day. And yeah. So, oh, what I was gonna say. The handbags, we have more. We have much, much more. That's not them. Leather goods, SLGs, things like that. That we, I think this is actually full of them as well, little bags and things. While we're in here, I wanted to maybe talk about another video that I could do. We have a lot of handbags, some are here, some we're using currently, others are in storage, um, and maybe I could do a handbag video of the 
leather goods that Garrett and I own, handbags and like SLGs and things like that because yeah, we love them and that's the industry we work in. Ignore that there, um, no comment, except that we've had it for a while and I'm not cutting it up at this current point in time. Look, there's even more handbags back here. Um, I really need to, to get on this little project, but yeah. Amazing, so overall, I'd say it was a pretty successful clear out. Any amount of clothing that I can pull and donate um, that I was just leaving in here and not using anyways is better than nothing. I'm gonna, don't worry, I know they're on the floor now, but I'm gonna go ahead and give these guys a wash and then fold them up and get them ready to go on the back to donate. All right, so definitely a successful afternoon. I've really enjoyed my day so far. I think I'm gonna play with the puppies a little bit, maybe clean up the house. You guys don't have to see all that. I wouldn't force you to watch it. But yeah, beautiful day. Um, I'm gonna, like I said, get those clothes into the washer and ready to go out and donate. And sorry, just one second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Potty training with a new puppy is hard and it is constant. And it's very hard to record and distract yourself with a camera when there's a little guy walking around ready to pee anywhere that he can possibly go to pee. And now he's running away from me. I didn't yell at him, I didn't spank him or anything. He's just, I don't know, he's crazy. Anyways, like I said, I'm gonna get those clothes into the washer. I've had a nice little day. I'm gonna probably edit some videos, do some online shopping, online scrolling, and go from there. Wait till Garrett gets home, have a cozy night in. I have tomorrow off as well, so I'm probably gonna do one of the videos that I talked to you about, probably either the fragrance or handbags that we have, and talk about those, and yeah. Anyways, if you liked the video, Thank you for watching, like and subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you guys around.